One of the big questions that, that people ask when the iPad first came out is why do I need this thing? Why do I need a tablet? I already have a smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or somebody else. I already have a computer, whether it's a Mac, whether it's a Windows machine. Why do I need this tablet? It's kind of in, in between in no man's land. Well, quickly we saw why. It does so many things well. Movies, music, video, games, etc. Well, the iPad has come a long way just as, just as more apps are created for it. I mean, the product itself hasn't changed dramatically. Certainly the newer version, what, what people loosely refer to as the iPad 3, although Apple just refers to it as the new iPad, uh, the two big breakthroughs there, gorgeous screen, the retina display on it is, you know, phenomenal. I described it, you know, when you see the retina display side by side with the earlier iPad screens. It's not like the earlier iPad screens. Uh, screens were eyesores, but you look at them side by side and it's almost as if you had LASIK surgery. I mean, it's that dramatic. And the other big thing with the, with the newer iPad is uh, the speed on it. Uh, it's, it's really fast and zippy. Again, not like the old one was a laggard, but uh, side by side or performance wise, it just feels like a, a zippier product. The beauty, and Apple I think used this in its advertising way back when its promotion for the original iPhone, you know, a computer in your pocket. That's what it is. I mean, it's almost a misnomer to call it a phone because sure, you can use it to make phone calls. More often than not, we're, we're using it for all sorts of things, whether it's surfing the web, again, reading books, listening to music, watching movies and TV. Uh, it's so much more than a phone and it really put the smart in smartphone. Well, the iPhone is, has evolved a lot. I mean, people forget now when it first came out, it didn't have all the apps we have now. It didn't have that whole ecosystem. I and mean, there were the apps that sort of came on it initially. Now it's just, I mean, you can find an app for, for virtually anything today. And that, of course, is the big difference. And again, through the various versions, we've seen better screen, we, you know, the introduction of better cameras and video and all that. But the app picture is really the big story there. iOS has certainly evolved through, again, the various iterations of, uh, of the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, everything from adding multitasking or their version of multitasking, the ability to actually do a couple things at the same time. It was very limited in the early versions. Uh, now, of course, you can listen to, say, a third-party music app like Pandora while you're doing other things. On, on the iPad. So that came, things like being able to better organize apps into folders. I mean, I'm a person, be, partly because of what I do and partly because it's just fun to explore the app store. I have a lot of apps on my device and they can quickly get unruly, but of course you have the ability to drag one app on top of another and put them into folders. And iOS uh, suggests folders, you know, productivity or travel or music, whatever it happens to be. And you can change that if you have, you know, I, I, I have a folder for silly stuff. Um, so I think that was a, a real breakthrough and we're going to continue to see iOS advances as we move forward. Yeah.